So today we're going to build a mini baseball bat. A little 18 inch souvenir bat that you see in gift shops at ballparks. I was looking around online and see uh, if someone could show me how to help me out on the way. Didn't find anything so I thought I'd make this video and help out anyone else out there who's looking to make one. Alright so I've got this little souvenir bat here that I've been using as a sample. Take some measurements and uh, go from there. So first things first, I decided to lay out my blank next to the bat that I had and a yardstick just to get an idea of where I was going. I used the calipers to take some exact measurements, which I'll show you here in just a second. But uh, before that, you're going to go ahead and mark an X on each end of the blank and uh, you know find a good midpoint there so you can mount it up in the lathe and have a good center. Roughing it out here, get a good circle, circular shape going first, and then I'll mark it out every three inches. Now, in mine, I measured down from the tip of the barrel, going that way 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Get my parting tool sharpened up a little bit first, and now you leave the barrel at 1.3 inches. And then that first mark is nine inches down from the tip of the barrel. That one is going to go down to one inch. Next, at your 12 inch mark, take that down to 0.75. And then at the 15 inch mark, you go to 0.6. That's the thinnest part, that's the handle. And then for the tip, you leave that at one inch. After you've got all those down to where you want them, you can just start taking away some wood. Bring it down and uh, I do recommend leaving uh, all of your measurements a little bit over, just maybe a tenth of an inch over for final sanding, which will bring it down to the desired measurement. So after I got a good shape that I liked, I went ahead and sanded it up and Took it all the way down to 220 grit. Got a nice smooth finish on it. Then I finished it up with a couple coats of Danish oil. Here's a valuable lesson I learned. I was going to transfer this image on here and I forgot to reverse the image in uh, Photoshop or whatever image editing software you use. So mine came out reverse, see? So I had to sand it off, go back and have a redo on that. And got it right the second try. Now I'm just taking a wood burner here and outlining the logo that I transferred on and go back and fill it in. That was just important to me, I think, uh, Burned logo on a wooden bat is classic looking, you know. And that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you take a second to subscribe. I got a lot more good ones coming. A lot of projects on the way, so stay tuned.